Welcome back to building a mega factory. My name is Diablo and today, well, <clears throat> as you might have noticed, I have been running a little late. Um, so this video is up a little late. Um, stuff happens, uh, real life gets in the way sometimes and I was not able to do it sooner. But it is here now. Uh, there's a lot of things. Well, there's a couple of things uh, that I want to have a look at, that I want to do. Uh, do I need to balance this out a bit more? It does get eaten quite heavily. Hmm. Uh, it looks like it can keep up, so that's fine. Um, there were a few comments uh, made about certain setups and certain things that I could improve upon or change. Um, and one of the first things was uh, Kevin, I uh, forget his last name, sorry about that Kevin, uh, mentioned that, uh, I'll leave this one as is, um, that's also a bit, uh, okay, I can remove this I suppose. Um, if I was to place um, an extra splitter in this design, it would be even more effective. So let's try that out. We put down the original design first. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Uh, at least I think it should be. There we go. Uh, like this. We delete that. Um, let's see. Robots, do your thing. Thank you very much. And what he said was... Put an extra splitter at the start of um, the two undergrounds, right there. So we'll do that. And this should make it balance out even more uh, evenly. So we'll leave that and we'll see how that works out. Although, I have to say, the asymmetry of it does tend to offend a little. But uh, we'll see. I'll leave it like this and we'll see how it works. The other thing that was mentioned, um, I think I'll do that over there in the copper patch, was that um, my uh, setup for, let me see, I think it's in here, for mining was too expensive. And so let's put that down. The suggestion was by Elemento33. Uh, I don't have enough. St oops, I don't have enough stuff with me. But that's fine. I can still work with the ghosts. Is that you um, skip every other underground? So it saves you. Uh, whole bunch of underground belts. Uh, so we go in here, out there, and we skip those two, replace those by just belts. Uh, that's a bit too far, of course. Uh, there we go. Then we go underground there, and we go above ground there. Oh, again, one too far away like that and then we go so now we've saved one two three four undergrounds which is basically 160 gear wheels so that's a lot of iron um, and instead we have replaced it with what how much how much iron do you use so 160 iron replaced for 23 uh, 23 iron in total I think that's a fairly good, well, no, 23 times 2. So, still, it's a good save. Uh, 46. Yeah, it's a good save. It's more than 100 iron just saved right there. So, I think it's a good suggestion. Uh, it does, however, also mean I have to put in an extra uh, power pole. Power poles uh, use, of course, two, two steel plates and two copper plates. So, this setup uses... A tiny bit more uh, copper and well you know those two iron for copper for steel I can 
I think I can deal. Um, all in all, it's still a lot cheaper. And it gets the same effect. So that's quite nice. Um, we will change out the way we were doing that. Uh, right click that. And where is it? There it is. Right click. And so that is our new setup. So what I want to do is uh, use this new setup. Oop, let's take everything out. And uh, update the giant iron mine that I was uh, building um, earlier. So I can actually utilize more of it. All right. So that is that. Now, because it is nighttime, I'm glad it is nighttime right now. Uh, where are my robots? Just stick them there. All right. Let's find a power supply. Because... Another thing that was asked by Johnny Mellon was check the power during the night and see how it compares because I apparently only checked it during the day uh, when the solar panels were assisting but do I have enough power during the night? It would seem so. The accumulators are nicely keeping up. It's getting, it's getting daylight again, isn't it? Yeah. So they're not draining out. Uh, I would have I would have thought that if I was using too much power, the uh, accumulators would have drained out during the night, as I'm used to. I don't know if that's changed maybe in 0 0.15, but um, uh, it used to be that if you used too much power during the night, you would see a, a, a significant drop off when uh, you didn't have enough power but apparently I had plenty of power because it didn't drain all the way so it's uh, it's definitely something worth to check out so that's why I did it um, right now that we've got iron you know fairly fairly nicely coming in I wanted to check if I have enough copper going or er, coal I meant going into these things performance is well as expected I would almost say I mean hopefully the solar panels do most of the work uh, well yeah 21 megawatts so that's perfect um, so they don't have to do much available performance is a lot more so that's good um, and that means that no uh, that the coal won't be used up as fast um, so this is actually all still good I'm gonna leave that as is uh, is this empty or just not okay full all right perfect 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 so I, I want to catch that train actually if I can thank you very much oh this is quite nice I should put in a balancer I suppose right there then again, there's already a balancer right there, so no need to put in two, I suppose. Um, this first lane is getting used quite fast. The second one, third one, and fourth one, obviously not yet, because I have not put in the... Uh, how much is in there? Okay, it's empty. Um, I have not put in the extra smelters. I guess I can do that as well because I have um, some power to spare so I can upgrade that and have a little bit more iron going into the factory. But first, let's update this setup, shall we? Those are safe. Cool. Um, I don't want to ruin everything. So I think I'll just start with everything that I have. Um, whoopsie daisy. Uh, just ghost it right here and not actually placed. Uh, I think everything up here is done, isn't it? Let me quickly check if that's actually the case. Uh, grab those guys. Walk into one of these paths. How far does does do I reach? Oh, that's quite hard to see, actually. Somehow, the um, placement uh, area is on, on the 
on the on a different or on a wrong uh, level, uh, graphics-wise, I would say. I think this is supposed to go over and not underneath. But um, so I do reach this entire line. So if I were missing anything, it would have been placed by now. Right. So I'm not missing anything in the lanes that I'm using. That means I can actually just, um, yeah, go like, yeah, I suppose I can just take out everything like this. Um, there we go. Because this is, most of this is ghosted anyway. So I can just take it out. Then I'll have to worry about uh, breaking anything. Um, let me get my robots back into play because they can start taking out this stuff, uh, uh, placing this stuff. No, taking out. I was just, I was saying it correctly. Um, where's my eraser? There it is. There we go. And erase this one. Thank you. Go a little bit further. See if they can erase a little bit more. There we go. I should have enough room for all of this stuff. That should not be an issue. Oh, wait. These guys I can better do by hand because that will take a lot of time if they have to take up, pick up every bit of um, iron. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I don't have any room. Let's, um... Hmm... Uh, let me do it like this because I can. There we go. Okay, pick up all my bots. And then get rid of that bit of iron as well. Uh, that was not a lot of iron. I just have too much junk. I'm going to put all my book... Er, um, Blueprints in the book, so that saves me a lot of space. Need to get rid of those as well. Need to get rid of those as well. We'll do that when we get back to town. Um, right. I was deleting stuff. Uh, I guess I can delete all of this by hand as well. Replace it when needed. Cool. All right. I think I've erased everything. Oh no, I'm missing a couple of things down here. Uh, let me place. What are they? Oh. And I did not erase this line. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, so I erased all of that. I erased this line and now I'm erasing this line so hopefully this will get us a cheaper setup so I can actually get more um, uh, more of these miners going there we go pick everything up what That's fine. How far do I need to go? Oh, okay, I'm, all, I'm almost there. There we go. All right. And then we can go back up and get this sorted. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Uh, like that. Oh, I risked a bit too much there, but that's fine. There we go. Last piece. Now, uh, where did I place my design? Somewhere around here, I suppose. There it is. Um, yes, I guess we'll start right there. Uh, no, we'll start 
right there. I think that's the way to go. I think that's the outermost that I placed everything. That seems to be logical. Of course, the power poles won't completely fit in the same spot anymore. But I guess that's fine. Uh, let's do one row at a time. There we go. And this one goes there. Thank you. And this one should go there. Awesome. Now, if I did not mess it up, this should go all the way if it's placed. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Okay, perfect. So that's one row done. Wait, why aren't these placed yet? Come on. Thank you. Okay, so that's that's a lot, uh, a much cheaper way of actually building up those mines. So I'm I'm very very glad with that suggestion. Very happy with that suggestion. Um, I think the easiest way to do it now would be just to make another blueprint of this entire line. Uh, where was it? So there it is. Like so. And then replace one row at a time. That's the um, quickest way, I suppose. Um, so, there. And this one would go there. And then that one would go there. Etc. Etc. I have no idea how many. Okay, undergrounds are done. Got a lot of belts left still. And a lot of power poles. So I will guess I'll finish these two. These two lines with the materials that I have. At least if they are actually willing to do any work. There we go. That was the last underground. Last few power poles and uh, belts going in. Amazing. All right, so that's that. Cool. Um, we'll leave that for now. Uh, pick up all my bots. Apparently, I forgot a power pole somewhere. Right, I um, have to wait for the train for a few moments, but I don't think that'll take long. Oops, let's see. Oh, there, there. I was going to try and figure out how long it was going to take, but it's already on the way. Very nice indeed. All right, and when it gets here, uh, do I have any iron left? Yes, I do have any iron. Uh, in my take that away, take that away. That can just keep going. Um, let's get back to town, shall we? Because we actually have a lot to do. Because um, I want to start thinking about our first, um, the first part of our mega factory. Now, the first part will be to create... Um, it's always difficult. Do I create a factory that... You know, a large area that just produces um, gear wheels, or do I not? I mean, gear wheels get produced so fast, I guess that would not be productive enough to have a separate site for that. Steel, however... Oh, shoot. I forgot about those guys. Yeah. Um, steel, however, definitely, definitely will have its own area. Uh, let's see. There we go. So, how and where and why shall we do that? Uh, I've got plenty of iron on the line. I think I might just add... Did I put them away? Yeah, some copper on the line as well. I know, I know it looks good and all, but 
it's a bit thin up there, so it, it, that means it's getting eaten really fast. Um, oh, yes. And there's another thing I wanted to do. Uh, did I do the research? Yes, I did. Good. Um, so I want to be able to have a stack that I can grab from. Um, which means um, I'm going to have to do something clever with uh, arms and boxes. I've got 14 of these, so let me use this. Um, I would like you... I'm going to whoops, place a power pole there, get all the stuff off. Um, there we go. I would like you... That's it, yep. Yeah. To only work if this belt is satisfied. So science goes before building stuff. Uh, read the belt. Hold that thought. Uh, yes. And then you, how many are in there? See, that's why I needed the power pole. Uh, let me transfer that information there. So there's two. So there's either two or three. So let's say if there is of the electric furnaces less than no sorry uh, if it's uh, equal or greater than two I suppose um, go to work so enable yeah perfect so if the if there are more electric furnaces on this part of the belt uh, equal or bigger than two, it will take them off. Meaning that if this is just producing and this is getting emptied out, this arm will not steal them from this production. However, now it will. See, now it has no belt, or no, it only has one signal there, so it doesn't work. It's red. Awesome. I wanted to do the same for... Let me think about that. Yes. Mining drills, I think. No? Was that mining drills or was that... Let me check. Let me check. Because my head says it's something else entirely, which I'm not sure about. So I'm just checking. I've got lots of bullets. Very nice. Um, I definitely wanted to do it with furnaces. I think I also wanted to do it with these guys, but I'm not entirely sure anymore. I mean, makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so... I will... Put down a box right there. Put an arm right there. Put a power pole right next to it. I'll remove... Whoopsie. I'll remove the power pole later on. Um, I just want to use it for information. So, you and you and you. Right. Read and hold, please. Okay, so what's the information? It says three on there. Okay, so basically we do the same for this one. Uh, I can just copy it, actually, if I go like that. I can go like that. Except we change this for this, and if it's bigger or equal to two, well, that keeps it going forever. Hmm. How many are on, on there? There's three on there, right? Uh, yeah, bigger and equal than two is fine. Um, yeah. So I can rotate that. Okay, so while that is producing, see, it won't grab any other ones. It will, it will wait until this actual area is full. Uh, there it is. It's now at one. And then it puts down a second one, and that gets eaten. Of course, I must not forget to limit this. Uh, I'll limit it to one stack for now. Did I do the same right there? Please tell me I didn't. Nope. Okay, so that's done. So now we can grab those 12, because that's actually what I was going for. I, I thought I had already done that, but 
It's maybe in a practice round somewhere. Um, so I've done that. Now I can add to the um, copper stack. Uh, like so. Of course, not all. Not yet, but that's fine. I also see that I'm missing arms at random spots. Uh, like there. That's all fine. That's fine. Uh, that one, and that one, that one, and that one. You probably won't get fed uh, anytime soon because it has not a lot of uh, copper coming in. Actually, that's something I can change rather easily right now because um, I have my new setup. And it's quite easy to just stick another one in there, isn't it? Uh, I can go behind these two. Oh, turn it around. Thank you. There we go. And there we go. Now, erase what I don't need. Like so. And then we grab our pots. Oh, I haven't brought any undergrounds, did I? Whoopsie daisy. Or, I do, or um, electric mining drills for that matter. So let me grab those real quick. And add to the copper input. Walk on the belt because that goes faster. Thank you. Now I did see a mine uh, furnace that actually had iron ore near it. but wasn't burning. So I'm going to check out what was going on back there as well. Uh, what was I going to grab? Undergrounds and... Oh yeah, mining drills. So I'll, I'll grab all of them. I mean, I've got plenty of stuff on the line now. Um, so that's not really an issue. And I put that one there. Awesome. So it's already a full stack. So that goes quite fast. I like it. I like it a lot. Um... So put that on. Um, should I increase this? Hmm, not sure. Although before I get to the... Hang on, why? See, I'm missing an arm right there. And I'm missing arms right there as well. Alright, so those are burning now. You are not working yet as intended. You are not working yet as intended. Awesome. Burning, 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 not burning. Thank you. That's all done. All right. Um, so before I can actually get to the um, mega part of this build, um, I think I should produce... Um, assemblers number uh, number three assemblers first because if I'm going to design anything I want to I want to design it with a uh, uh, number three um, assembler awesome more stuff on the line is always a good thing so Number three. Oh, I've got also. I've also gone way over time already. Well, at least compared to my normal videos, it does start to feel a bit short when you do two-hour live streams and then make a video of uh, twenty to thirty minutes. No, that's okay. Um, what was I saying? I was saying I need to make. Uh, these things. So I need four speed modules. Well, I have those somewhere in the factory um, at the research facility. So I guess I could do something with that. And of course, assembler machines. Well, I have those right there. So 
Hmm. I think what I need to do, or start doing rather, is um, start. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do at all. Um, is start. Did I research that even? I'm not sure. Yes. Is start building that. Uh, I guess we can go like that. And then have it put on a second one. Um, there we go. We have now 30 robots. The only downside to this is that I need... Wait. Is that actually... Oh, green chips, yes. And this takes red chips. So I suppose I could just go like that. How many red chips does it take? Two. So this will be... 80. Well, that's fine, but fine for now. Um, yeah, that's fine for now. I can just grab some red chips out of this box right here. Uh, I'll grab half, because I don't think I need that much. So that is building logistic robots for me, which means I can utilize them to build... Um, in fact, if I'm going to go for Assembler 3, I don't actually have any use for Assemblers 2 anymore. I uh, don't think, at least. So what I'll do is I'll feed directly into an Assembler 3 and have the logistic robots solve the problem of getting the rich chips here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's I'll do that. So we'll put that there, and we'll tell this to build that. Um, yeah, that needs red chips, doesn't it? No, 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 red chips was for... I'm confused now. I, did, I meant speed modules, of course. So we need requester boxes. Oh, did I research requester boxes? I'm not sure. No, I did not. Dang it. I'm trying to build something with stuff that I don't have yet. Which is annoying. Oh, I can get rid of this waste. There, and there, and there. Thank you. Um, why is my research for inserter capacity bonus stuck? What is not being built? Purple. Why is purple not being built? This is full. This is full. Engines are not being built because I have no lubricant. Why do I not have any lubricant? What is going on? Okay, I'll fix this real quick and then we'll end the episode. Um, lubricant, 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 lubricant. It's all very empty. Oh, it ends right there as well. Cool. All right. Um... Guess we take out all this need uh, useless pipe. Um, so we've got our chemical set up right there. Oh, this heavy fuel is also no longer being used. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. So, this is empty as well. Perfect. We'll take those out whilst we're at it. Both are empty. Yes, they are. And that's a little bit of cleanup. Oh, and this is empty as well, I see. Perfect. Reclaim all of this stuff so we can use it later. Yeah, there's still, still some in the pump itself, so we'll leave that. Uh, stand on the belt, that goes faster. So we need a chemical plant. And we need some heavy oil. Uh, I think I have a chemical plant somewhere. Yeah, well, I did. Um, guess we take that away. Place that. Well, I don't know. Something like that. Tell it to produce lubricant. 
Okay, so that's filling up. But I want to... Hmm, let me think about this. Let me take this out. Why do I want to do that? Because what I would like to do... These are not pumps. This is a pump. I would like to be able to say, right, only supply... Uh, this, is going, this is not going to work, is it? Uh, only supply this chemical plant with uh, heavy oil. Um, if I don't actually have enough petroleum gas. Uh, so we connect that to that, and then we say, right, um, petroleum gas, if it's smaller than, hmm, there's 25,000 in there, yeah, there's 25,000 in there, so let's say if it's smaller than 15,000, then use all of the heavy oil for um, fuel production, petroleum production, or, you know, cracking it. Um, however, if that's not the case, I would like... No, I can't do that. I would like... For all the uh, heavy oil... Okay, that's good to go to this thing put that one there yep that's producing quite nicely now all I have to do is and that will only stop producing if my petroleum is running out well if my petroleum is running out honestly I have a bigger problem so not too worried about that if I place this down or back one like this, then both are fed by that power. Good. Um, so all I do need to do now is hook that pipe up to this chemical plant, which seems quite easy. There we go. And one of these should do the trick. There we go. That also means something over there was no longer being produced engines well engines didn't care because engines will haven't been used in a long time um but these engines definitely were look at that pretty isn't it yes there they go everything hard at work awesome all right so now my research can finish which means i can actually do what i want to do in the first place uh, but we'll do that in the next episode, because when this research is done, we will research whatever it takes to get um, this, I think. Yes. Oh, that's quite expensive, but that's fine. We'll research this, and then uh, we can do, we can finish this setup. So this will feed in, and this will spew out, etc., etc., of course, that has to be another type of box. You can do a power pole next to it like that. So everything gets powered. Perfect. All right. We'll keep it at that. I told you this was a build nearly, a build nearly everything line. And there's going to be blue uh, belt as well there um, being built here as well. Right. Next time we will check out um, where we want to build our um, the first part of our mega base, which will be a steel setup, um, and um, I probably going to get a start with mining some of this uranium. Uh, I can't use it yet, but I can mine it and store it. So when I actually get to use it, um, I have already a lot in store, which hopefully will make the process a little faster. But we will see that next time. For now, I shall say thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel.
comment down below if you have any suggestions or ideas. My name is Diablo, and I'll see you next time.